Welcome to the next part in the Raw and Uncut series. And this section is a section oftentimes that we avoid. It's one that has many parallels, but it also has many places where you can fall. It's dealing with your shadow, with your dark side. And based on that, we can, as humans, title this entire section, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. So we have areas in our lives that oftentimes can go in and trigger us into more animalistic ways of being. We can trigger ourselves into fighting with ourselves. We can get triggered by external forces to not care about what others think, what we think, what happens around us. And it brings about the negative inside of us. And oftentimes the religious perspective is that we need to go and squash and vanquish whatever negativity we have inside of us. There is a supreme fear of the darkness within every one of us. And it causes a fragmentation at the end of the day. In many ways, it causes us to build fragmentation towards relationships, towards making love, towards uh, family, towards sexuality. It causes us to break apart in such a way that we as humans then try to stuff areas that oftentimes have this negative charge with other things and we feel empty we feel misled we feel lost we feel out of alignment and it's oftentimes because we have filled our lives with things that are not truly part of us we have run into areas oftentimes that even we have rejected or become shameful of. And when you think about it, there are areas, like I talked about in the last part, that we label. We humans are really good at labeling things because it's convenient. And not having a label on the animalistic side of our being, the negative charge that makes us who we are, can be scary at times. And in reality, what it is, is that just like we have the positive side of ourselves, we also have this negative side. And in order for the negative side to feel balanced, for us to feel secure and whole, we have to go and accept both the positive and the negative charges. And it's not to say that we become a doormat or we become complacent. That's definitely not it. But it is more of growing the awareness that is within the realm of who we are and being seen for who and what we are. That is how we embrace the darkness. The darkness within us is still part of us and no amount of fragmentation no amount of rejection will ever make you love yourself the way that you can when you embrace the other side of yourself and because when something is isolated within our lives we oftentimes will fear what happens. We will build in fear and doubt and shame. We will pat ourselves just like someone who has fear, guilt, and shame oftentimes will go and pat themselves with putting on more weight or being secluded. All of those things are hindering and fragmenting us from triggering those areas 
within our lives. And this is an area that all of us wrestle with. I personally have wrestled with this for a long while. Because there is such a secular thought process that we have to go and stop the area and the embracing of our negative charged side. And oftentimes when you go and you hear about somebody snapping or losing control, it's because that side has been triggered for so much that eventually it takes over and it destroys everything that has essentially been built by the other side due to rejection, due to loss of self-focus, due to loss of true love for themselves. And it's not that we have to be supremely self-focused all the time, that is not healthy either. But there is a principle that is called dancing with the 10,000 things that I learned from one of my teachers. And it highlights the ability to go and dance fully, embrace with whatever comes in your life as a complete being. As a complete being, as a soul searching, a life living being. One oftentimes has a choice. We have the choice of either living a life that is built on mask that the world accepts or living in full view as we are no matter what is said about us. Now there are extremes when learning about the shadow and this can be an entire class dedicated to learning about the areas that we are wounded in and wounded about. The one thing that I will say when it comes to working with yourself is that forgiveness is an amazing medicine. Self-love is an amazing foundation and learning to be in the silence with yourself is true power. If you've ever seen anyone in modern society today that comes up to a place and they have a hard time being in silence, they essentially start to go and lose their abilities to be in silence. It is because there may be a sense of fragmentation or missing out. And that is a trigger for the negative side of the body. And if you go and you think about anatomically, we have the yin side of our body and we have the yang side of our body. Yin is going to be the front facing portion. The yang is going to be the back facing portion. And if you go and you think about it that way, we are essentially built in the format of receptive mechanisms of living. In other words, we can embrace fully through the front and we can reject through the back. Our postures take on those same formats. Gravity takes on those same formats. So understanding that we can go into a place of almost deep realization within ourselves when we're in the silence. See, silence is a revealing factor that the majority of us avoid. We need to be on something that is stimulatory. We need to have that uptake. And naturally we have that built in. But when we take it away, we remove the filters that we oftentimes use to live and to sort and keep out those negative thoughts that oftentimes sort out for survival and they come up. To be able to live and be truly yourself in the darkness, it requires you to be able to observe all the emotions that come about you 
and try and raise a response and truly be present with those emotions, then be willing to let it go and fly on its way. Your responsibility in self-love is never to hold on to the emotion. It is to feel it, receive it, and let it fly away. That is the supreme power that you have. You have the ability as a human being to live fully right now. And no matter where you are, and no matter what phase you are in your life, there will be sides that show up that will be your shadow side as much as your positive side, your light side. And it's learning to dance within both of those realms in both of those realms, meaning that you are essentially balancing those constantly throughout your day. No matter who cuts you off in traffic or calls you a bad name, that is the skill of saying hello darkness, my old friend. Because it will reveal to you deepest and oftentimes the most revealing parts of who you are. And often, it will even reveal the parts that you have rejected, the parts you have stuffed away, and the parts that you can newly embrace. So, that's it for now. I'll go ahead and catch you in the next section. Take care.